Hey guys, welcome to that 135th scale show. Uh, we didn't plan on shooting a review today, but um, since it is Monday and the, what we were working on today is going to take a little bit longer than what we normally put stuff out, and that's fine. Um, I thought we'd do a review. I got a, I had a nice mail day today, and I got in the uh, my first time ever o er, ordering these, and uh, it's the Hornet uh, headsets. I've gotten three of these. I've gotten the uh, five heads wearing British helmets. I've gotten five bear heads. And I've also gotten uh, German, various German side caps. So these are all things that can work with projects that I have uh, planned in the future. And like you guys saw that I got that Tamiya set recently from the club. So that's kind of what sparked me on, on, on improving them. Uh, with horned heads so and I mean just whatever uh, just inside the baggies they look amazing uh, a little bit of flash here and there but I'm only gonna open up one set and share that with you guys and then Andrew by request said the bear heads yeah so what do you think Matt since you're here I think great okay awesome so this is my first time ever seeing horned heads and they come in these uh, you know, baggies with the cardboard backings, and uh, tearing them here. They're Ziploc baggies, so you just pull it off, and they're stapled onto the card back. And pull out a staple there. I'm gonna dump them out. Dump them out. Okay, so we're just gonna take a, a, a real quick look at these heads, and I'm gonna quickly baggy them back up so I don't mess them up. I got a, made a mess on the bench here today, so. I just really haven't been in here. I've been building on the coffee table for like the past week. So the first head, so these are heads that don't have any kind of headgears. So you can use them for just about anything. Um, and I think that could really help add to different characteristics of your you know, figures and dioramas. And right off the bat, they look stellar. Now, they come with a longer neck stem. So you're going to have to cut them and shape them to fit you know your figure bodies. But uh, here's the first head that I'm looking at. It's got like a... His bangs kind of poofing up there. He got a little smile on his face. It's nice. You can see, like, uh, I'm hoping they're really coming through, but the detail is insanely crisp. You want to check that out? Yeah, let's see. Be careful, don't drop it in my carpet. Okay. This guy's kind of making an O face. So maybe. Then, oh, shit. That's oh, shit. Artillery's coming in or something. Let's see. How, far, how, how close can I push the GoPro there? We need another light in here. Like we, just, everything's moved around in here. We haven't had the C stand in a long time, so there we go. Looks yeah. like Bruce Willis with hair. He does look like Bruce Willis. But yeah, so this guy's making an O face. I'll show, I'm, I'm I'm passing him the mat. If you're not seeing on, if you, you can't really see that I'm passing Matt from the top down. And but Matt is here. The wall and, and Matt is. Say hi, Matt. Hello. Matt is working. Well, this guy. Who does he look like? They all look pretty Bruce Willis like. I think this guy kind of looks like Ron Perlman a little bit. Oh no. So there he is, and he's looking good. He's a little more cleaned up, a little more stern look. He has a little bit of flash on his neckline here, but uh, you know it's a quick breeze with the hobby knife. Yeah, just more Bruce. This guy, this guy kind of looks like a mix between Brad Pitt and Willem Dafoe, I think. And I think I'm only thinking Brad Pitt because he has like that fury haircut. So. But yeah, they, the only bit of flash that I'm really actually seeing is on the, the, I got the George Lucas one coming in. What's the, what is that called? Is there a medical term for that? There you know? is, and I can't think of it. Is. The double chin. Uh, it's a double chin. So where they would have a double chin, but these guys are pretty sculpted. They've been in a situation. They haven't been eating as, as good. I like this guy a lot. He has, a, uh, this last one, he's kind of like, uh, he's saying something. I don't know what he's saying. He's saying like, oh, bring me a sandwich. I just busted a nut. So, I've never once said that, ever. I'm much more of a gentleman like. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna pull out the others. You guys are gonna see him. I just wanna leave him in the baggies and, and hang on to him. But I will say, just like looking through the helmets and we're being kind of silly here, but this, uh, these are great. The only bit of a little bit of flash is like right there under the chin. And you can easily, like I said, scrape that off. The side caps on the Germans just looking through the baggie are looking crisp and lots of details. 
I don't know if they're SS. It says various. Uh, yeah, there's one guy with a skull on there. I don't know if all of them have that yet. Okay, so one guy has like an SS skull. Another guy has uh, the silver circle with the red dot. So there's some options in, in, in the German side cap bag. And then with the British caps, you actually have a couple options here. It's like you have some of the Tommy helmets, and then like there's ones that have like almost like the Soviet style helmet swoop. So I don't know if that's post war or what, but um, I think for what I have them planned for, they look good. And they really like they come close to matching the box art on the Tamiya packaging. So that's kind of interesting. It's like they were made for that kit almost. So, anyways, that's a quick look at the uh, Hornet heads. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have too many docs uh, going on. And I just saw before we started shooting, Norm asked, what's a mini doc? Well, what we're wanting to do is profile other model builders. And the easiest one to do, of course, is myself to start off with. And then we have a surprise one coming that's being worked on somewhere else. And we're going to have that in the future. So um, it's just about, not just about being on this bench, but I want to start looking at other folks' benches. And so, maybe even your bench. Maybe even your bench. We'll see what happens. Uh, and see where it goes and see what your guys' interest is in it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out the channel and being so awesome. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Like and subscribe. Shut up. Okay, sorry. Yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe.